off of his loss against um sassy right yes no is he no uh, he's not he's not he, he lost oh wait you're right you're right you're right k juice did play against player four and dm oh dm actually dq'd oh okay oh <laughs> dn too, wouldn't have dq'd um. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into this match. And so one thing is that Tejus, he's not afraid to throw out these aerials. Um, and if you are, uh, if you're Steve, how do you counteract that? <clears throat> like, what is the counterplay to a Bayonetta that's kind of being very, uh, just aggressively putting out hitboxes? This is not rhetorical, by the way. I'm asking, because I, 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 I don't know. All right, good job punishing the out of cart there. And 83% onto Tejus. This is looking pretty grim for him, but just as I say that, he gets the first hit of a possible combo. Both of these guys in the light red percent here, but is that a diamond weapon that I see on his behalf? Oh, way out there. Not quite enough to do it just yet. And all right, turning that lead situation back around on him and he's, he's fine Bayo, yeah Bayo's gonna make it back to the oh. the ledge at least but how much longer can he survive 142 percent there's definitely a lot here that Steve can do to end this Bayo yeah th I mean like that a back air to just finish that stock you know it's very deadly with those diamonds yeah and if if you're breaking down uh the 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 bricks of the wall you gotta you don't want to do it with too high a committal move as we saw there forward smash just got punished immediately by uh that was the sentence by the way oh oh that's normally a very strong setup that can really do quite a bit but because of the stone the anvil wasn't falling for long enough oh We got these mine cards. It's actually a pretty, as we've seen, a pretty effective combo starter. Oh, speaking of combo starters, all of this damage carrying him up to the top, but then actually able to reset. Was that SDI? He managed to get out of the last hit of yes. there. Yes, to get out of Bayo stuff, you have to really SDI hard. That's, it's almost like a like a meme response. If you, if you go, like someone complains about Bayonetta's combos on Twitter, It'll just be a flock of Bayo mains going, just SDI. But they don't say which way. <laughs> oh, fantastic spacing right there. Just, I think that that's going to be really key to this matchup is with punishing. There, There's not a lot of lag between Bayo's moves, but definitely uh, is showing that he can find the gaps, figure out when he actually can safely throw out these moves, and then just rinse, recycle, repeat. He's at the ledge, he's in the corner, just damage after damage, and Ooh. that's going to kill. Wow. That's the first witch time I've seen all night. Uh, there was one witch time earlier, but it did not kill. Yes. Yes, you're right. Oh, just sort of ending it there early. That's interesting. Oh, oh, because they went for that, because they went to the left, they didn't die there. If they had gone to the right, they would have gotten killed by a carry to the end of the screen. Oh, speaking of being... Oh, the carry him up to the top all around. Ooh. All this damage is oh, not no. leading to any stocks just yet. Oh, and a little bit extra damage with those guns. And now 138%. Tejus looking at a comfortable 44. He is does not seem that worried in the least. And, you know, without something really cheeky, it's kind of hard, at least from what we've seen, for Steve to just end a stock, just delete somebody at 60. Yeah. It's going to require a lot more effort. Oh. This is Max Rage Steve as well. So because of that, the Lava will kill at the... Okay. Wow. Yep. Just, just, it just happened. Yep. You know, the, you, you just. 
get up real high. You can cover lots of options with that. It and covers I covers neutral get up, covers get up attack, <laughs> covers roll. It might cover jump if you're fast enough. You know. Yeah, and that's something we had not seen. We had not seen that setup at all, I think. All night from uh granted he's only been on stream once, I believe. Mm -hmm. But still, definitely I think that that was something Tay Juice was not expecting. Otherwise he would have spent a little bit more time on ledge. Is there anything that um Is there anything that Steve can do if the opponent hangs on ledge too long to just quickly like ooh I'm sure that a down tilt will hit there. Or you can just do but, the TNT. That will kill for sure. But the TNT takes some time, right? Uh, not if you set up the button. If you set up the button, it'll just go off. Or if you just use the lava. Because mm. for some reason that works. All right. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be... Sticking with these characters, they're not going to be switching. And now we have game two going right back to PS2. I think that's fair. Um, yeah. We were seeing how the combos from Pages were really working out here, those platforms. They would have to start of the platforms or get reset with the help of the platforms. So I think that even though he lost that game, I think this stage is fine. And if you're, uh, if you're, uh, you're probably going to be banning some other stages. What, what stages against Bayo would you most need to ban? Ooh, um, I'm thinking maybe tri What? I'm not quite as much... I'm not quite as familiar with Bayonetta stuff. That's why I don't know which way to SDI. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think maybe that would work. Because then you can't get laddered as high up. All right, really big lead right now for Tay Juice. We've seen how that doesn't necessarily guarantee a win. Last game he had a really big lead and kind of yeah. ended up being snatched from him. But 62%, it's, I, you know, there's uh, just being consistent, getting consistent damage is at least an effective start. I think the issue with Bayo in general that we see the character constantly struggling with is how do you kill? Once you've mm -hmm. gotten the opponent 250%, you know, you did all those really cool combos, carried them all across the stage and everywhere, uh, how do you actually end the stock? And sometimes it can be difficult. So even though he's at 90, okay. Oh no. Well, oh. No, he's living. And as long as he's living, there's he still has a really solid chance. Did he just pick up a diamond weapon? Yes, he did. And now it's gone because he has died. And Tejus is still on their first stock, so that's not good. Yeah, we have seen some three stock comebacks happen, but we have. This it, uh, this is going to look... It's, it feels like Tejus is just playing the way he needs to. And with Max Rage on his side, we might even see like a cheeky early kill come out from him. Or, all right. That... Yeah. There are a couple ways for, like, if Bayonetta has a stock lead, like, you know, like, or like, you know, a head on stock, last stock situation, can she do some, like, suicide esque mega combos? Yes, bring him she, off the stage? Uh, Bayonetta can do that, but I think it kills Bayonetta first. But he has an extra stock. You're right, so doing the down air sometimes can do that. Hmm. Diamond's back on now, which is good, because if you want to make a comeback, you need that. Yeah, and he's going to have to hold on to it for a while, again with the SDI. I will say wow. this SDI has been on point. When it comes in, it comes in clutch. Mm -hmm. And able to not really able to punish that forward smash, though, in his face. Oh. Oh no, oh no. All right, now we have 104. He has diamond weapons equipped, which means that any low percent combo is going to be able to do a ton of damage. And oh. beyond oh. that, we, we've seen how sometimes they do some pain. Oh. Never mind. 
I was gonna say struggle to kill, but nope. Nope. It's tough out there. <sighs> we now have one, one, one game apiece for these two. Yep. Um, and it seems that for the most part, uh, Tejus has had uh, consistently been in the lead. But then at the end, it feels like Uz getting his bearings, starting to figure out what he needs to be doing. But it's never quite... Or rather, game one, it was it was enough. But game two, it was not enough. Yes, he had too had much ground too he needed to make up. So, mm -hmm. I mean, a big thing is he's kind of dying to forward smashes. There's a yeah. lot. And when he's not dying to forward smashes, it feels like he's living to very high percents. Mm -hmm. So, the big key for him is going to be, how are you not going to forward smash? <laughs> the age-old quest. Yeah, and honestly, pretty, like, like as long as Uh is able to get that to happen early enough, it's pretty much their game. But it's also very impressive from, uh, from Tejus to be able to make it so that it's a different, it's a different situation where they have to adapt, because when Uh adapts, it's very impressive, but like it does very well. But Tejus is able to make it so that they have to adapt differently every single time. Yeah, and it can be it can be so tricky because when when somebody's up three stocks to one and then they finally, you know, okay, I've got them down to the last stock, and they've been last hit for a long time, the opponent's just like, I just need to find that one hit. You know, they can kind of play just mm -hmm. looking for the big hit that finishes them, because they have so much room to have things go. like you know, even if things get, even if they get punished, even if things go wrong, you know, they manage to get that huge lead, and it feels like, in general, in Ultimate, you can do a lot with that in terms of just going for the kill, but just fishing for the kill you need to. That was a really smart usage of the guns to fake out and then go for shield, so that they could just punish and attempted with punish. That was so smart, going for down throw with the block above to make sure that he could uh, get a follow up. Again with the SDI. Again with the SDI. Wow. They found their notes on, oh, how to SDI against Bayonetta, because Bayo mains won't tell you. <laughs> is that enough to do it? Another up smash. I think Smashville is honestly a really good choice here. This was, yeah. uh, this was in fact, us counter counterpoint. Counter pick and already showing how that middle smash oh. platform can be so useful. All right, gets witch time. That's the second time we've seen witch time get a kill in this set. Maybe yeah, and because of that, it's back to even. Sorry. No, what were you saying? Oh, yeah, no, it's back to even percent. So, with those diamonds on deck, that does mean that all Un uh needs is a combo starter here. And almost got it, too. like in this ledge pressure throwing out a move but bayonetta there's generally speaking not a lot of lag on any of her on her aerials so she's able to throw out a move and then immediately go for another option to try and cover a different you know choice that uh can try to be doing to get off the ledge and is he dead <gasps> he's, he's saved hooray wow everybody's lit. i think maybe he was thinking he was thinking oh okay they have to go to, like, they have to hit me in order to save themselves, so they could go a little bit deeper. <laughs> what? Oh. Wow, uh, that was impressive. Did he? I didn't. Wait, did he I've, jump all the way up there to get hit? Did he wall jump to get hit? I think so. Yeah, and he really must have wanted to get hit. No, oh. no. That's Steve. I love how the announcer ha sounds so happy when he says Steve. Steve! <laughs> Xander Mobus himself couldn't believe that he's in the game. He's like, Steve! Or a, f a few tournaments ago. 
of the it was the top field. Bowser. Junior. Junior. I was I who was I I think maybe said I forget where I said this, but apparently they had him record like twenty different takes for every single character. You know? And they just yeah. went with the ones they wanted to. He like said Bowser Jr. Not expecting that that was the one they were gonna use in the game. <laughs> it was just like probably like take 19 out of 20. And he just starts like messing around with it. Also, at least apocryphally, uh, they had him record a bunch of fake characters to protect against leaks. Oh. So somewhere out there is Xander Mobis just shouting, Master Chief! And I want to find that audio. I file. want that. I want right? that. Right? Right? I need that in my life. I need that in my veins. <laughs> <laughs> just stick it in me. Just pop up. Just get the spoon. Just Put that Xander Mobus saying Master Chief into my veins, please. Ah, uh, the vaccine we truly need. <laughs> Speaking to, of which, everyone get vaccinated. Our medicine. It's <laughs> <laughs> everyone get vaccinated. Uh, if, like, oh, you have you got your double shot. This is my first shot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got, getting I my, got my first. Um, no, just like in general, it's super easy to get now. I couldn't yeah. believe it. Yeah, it was so quick. Just like people are doing their jobs. Cray cray. Yeah. Do it. Take advantage. Anyway, going into game four now. Uh, uh only needs one game here. And he's going to secure one, himself a spot in go. loser's semi, I believe. We're not quite mm -hmm. up into loser's finals just yet. And definitely Takejus does not want to let that happen. And you can see it immediately out of the gate. All of this damage. 61 and growing. Oh, they were hunting for that spike right there. I'm pretty sure actually right there. Did, did Tejus react to the SDI? I think so. Dang. So we're really seeing these players adapt in profound ways. It is being able to like adjust to how the opponent is SDIing and change the combo accordingly. That was so tricky. Oh, there's the classic Steve out of shield forward smash. Even though it's like 26 frame startup, you see so many Steves do it. Oh, oh, that could have been really big, but me and just not get really punished. I was looking for this kill. Okay. Oh, go super oh. deep for that one, but not actually going to find it. Not this time, at least. And that should be it. Back air. No, back air's not going to do it. It's because of the witch times uh, decreasing the damage. Also, I don't think the sweet spot. No, it's because uh, witch time uh, weakens moves yes. that hit. I didn't know that, but I also think it was that. Okay, and he, and he cleans it up. Okay. Tate Juice with a lead here, and that's Bayonetta with some rage, meaning that this combo's, you know, it's still going to be a lot of damage here. 32%. That matters, because it dictates who has to approach. And we've seen already that when U uh is forcing the approach, the way he can set up like tiny little walls, literal walls of uh, blocks. Mm hmm super helpful for him and forward throw sending super far but not enough to actually do him in just yet is that gonna be it it is yes that up throw is deceptively good at killing not really much purpose for it outside of though outside of that situation though wow that like just barely missed the witch time which honestly saved uh there. So close. Oh, ah, but he's moving too quickly, which time was stale just enough that not actually able to get the big punish. That means that now Uz in control of the stage, or at least was for just a moment, but Bayonetta sneaking right past him and we're back to neutral after quite a bit of time. I guess opting to 
extend the hitbox with the uh oh with that there and that's enough to actually do it we have uh, up an entire stock here that's very good for uh because that means that now they're probably gonna try and just mine for one more diamond yes exactly now that they have that diamond they have that insurance for the next stock they don't have to build because now they are going to just right away the invincibility gives them just enough time to build for that diamond and it's looking like a very good situation for uh oh <laughs> but oh, no. a good situation against bayo that is something that is ephemeral to say the least the character is able to dish out so much damage and I will say that lately we've seen Uh do a much better job avoiding those really strong kill moves that have been, you know, the forward smashes, the witch times, the up smash. Right as I say that. Oh, he goes too far. Oh, was that because the active hitbox was trying to I slow think it so. Out. Yeah. 129% though. This is. <gasps> oh, he's dead. That killed him? That was that. Was that some questionable DI? I'm not sure exactly what happened right there, but yeah, I guess that's enough. Us uh, squeaking by another super close match, just able to do it. And that means that he's guaranteed a spot in loser semis, as I think we're moving into that match next. Mm -hmm. We're going to have A uh versus J Grunt. Am I correct in that? Yes, we okay. do have A uh versus J Grunt. And whoever wins that is going to be facing off against. Sassy Flygon. Oh, not Sassy. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, no. it's Karan yes. first. Yes, Karan first. Karan first.